Hello students, in this video we're going to verify that this solution, this vector here, satisfies the first order linear system written as a matrix equation, y prime equals py, where p is this matrix with these entries. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a derivative of this vector, so we're going to get the left hand side, the y prime. Now, to differentiate a vector, you just differentiate term by term. You, uh, uh, you differentiate each of the components. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna differentiate the top component, I'm gonna differentiate the second component, and when I take the derivative of e to the three t, right, that's e to the three t back again, but the chain rule says the derivative of three t is three, so two times three is six, and then likewise, we get a minus four e to the minus t, three times three is nine, nine e to the three t minus, and then 10 e to the minus t. All right, now that's the easy part. The next part is to multiply p times y. So we're gonna take this matrix, multiply by this vector, and then simplify it and hopefully verify that this uh, we get this result. And actually we will get that result. So I'm gonna take p times y. So here's the matrix p. I'm gonna multiply it by this vector y. So I'm gonna take this component here, this top component of the vector. I'm gonna multiply it by nine. I'm gonna add it to minus four. And then I'm gonna take this second component and multiply it by minus four. I'll take this top component, multiply it by 15, take the bottom component and multiply it by minus seven. Now, watch what I'm doing. I'm taking the top component vector. So this is how matrix vector multiplication works. And it, you might find it easier to do matrix vector multiplication in the way that I'm gonna do it next. You're taking this top, this first component here and you're multiplying it by the first column in each case. Notice that that's what you're doing. Then you're adding to that this second component multiplied by this second column. Okay, so in other words, this is what you're doing. You're taking this first component and multiplying it by the first column and then adding the second component multiplied by the second column. That's how matrix vector multiplication works. Now, if I just multiply this function, I just distribute it, I multiply it by nine, and then I multiply it by 15. Of course, I'm gonna get this result, 18 e to the 3t plus 36 e to the minus t. And then likewise, I get 15 times two is 30, 15 times four is 60. And then here I get minus four times three is minus 12, minus four times 10 is minus 40, and then yes, minus 21, and minus seven times 10 is minus 70. So now I get these two vectors. Now I'm gonna just add these component to component, and I'm gonna add like terms. So I'm gonna add this 18 e to the 3t, plus to minus 12 e to the 3t, and then likewise 36 e to the minus t, minus 40 e to the minus t, and then similarly for the second component. Just gonna add like terms, and when I do that, I get the resulting vector 18 minus 12 is six, 36 minus 40 is minus four, 30 minus 21 is nine, and 60 minus 70 is minus 10. And notice that the result of p times y was the same as y primed, so we've just verified that y prime is equal to p times y, where y is given by this solution, this vector, and the ODE is y prime is equal to py. So this is how you check your solutions for first order differential equations when um, they're written as first order linear systems of differential equations, okay? So good luck.